using an iOS device with Keynote Remote is a really, really fantastic way to give a presentation, and it works extremely well as a second screen. Bonus is that it's really easy to set up. All you have to do is open up Keynote on your actual iOS device first. So I'll go ahead and open up Keynote. Then you're going to have Keynote open on your Mac or another iOS device and go to Preferences. And from here, you're going to want to enable remotes. So now it's enabled. Basically, it's waiting to be found. I go to my iOS device and I tap the Keynote remote icon. I'll hit Continue. Now it's broadcasting. I can see that device and I tap Link. I'll have a code to confirm. Yes, it shows up the same on my iOS device, so I'll confirm it. And now those two devices are linked together. My Mac is not going to let any old iOS device connect. It's only going to look for that one for now. So I'll close this down and I'm ready to control my presentation for my iOS device. So on my iPad, I'll go ahead and tap play. And when I do, I can see up on the screen of my Mac, the actual presentation and down on the iOS device, I've got my presenter notes and my presenter tools. I can simply tap to advance or I can swipe and control what direction I want to go in my slideshow. Now, I can configure the presenter tools just as I can on the Mac. I tap right here, and I can adjust the layout. I'll go to my current. I'll go to my current and next. Or if I want to see the notes, current and notes, or next and notes. And as you can see, those notes automatically do get ported over from whatever slideshow you're working on. So you don't have to necessarily have it in the cloud. It's going to copy that slideshow over to your iOS device sort of on the fly as you're working. Now, one of the cool things you can do is if I open up just the current display, if I want to annotate or use a virtual digital laser pointer, that icon is right here next to the presenter tools. I tap on it, and then I'll tap on this little laser pointer. And from here, I can go ahead and circle stuff or point things out as if I actually had a physical laser pen pointer. If I wanted to do something a little more permanent, I can circle things. So I'll just go ahead and tap one of the markers and I'll say, hey, we're going to check out this mountain later on. The great thing is that when you tap done, that stuff goes away. It's not permanent. It's not part of your presentation. And when I tap the X button up here in the top, it'll actually disappear for good. So this stuff only sticks with the current presentation that you're working with, the current playthrough of the presentation. I'll tap the X button, and from here as well, I can see the device list. Now this is important because you might use an iOS device to connect to a couple of different computers. So you tap devices, and from here, you can add another device if you want to. So you can actually pair up with other iOS devices. There's no reason why you couldn't run the presentation off your phone and use your iPad as your remote and second screen. So if you don't even want to bring your computer, you can do your presentation with just your phone and your iPad, and vice versa. You can work the way that you want to work. You can even work in your Apple Watch.